These items are missed by most people because they just don't assume they're going to carry any kind of value. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some office supplies that can sell for some decent kind of money. Now, I'm talking about everyday type of items, items that almost every office out there is going to have, such as staplers and tape dispensers. There are many of those that can sell for some really good money if you're out there, if you're paying attention. The reason being that most people assume that those sorts of items just won't carry a value, and that's why people don't buy them. That's why they're still out there able to be found. Now, tape dispensers come in all shapes and sizes made for very specific things. It doesn't seem to matter what the dispenser is made for as long as it fits some sort of tape or label. Now, the advertising ones sell extremely well. Above and beyond just the standard old tape dispenser. Now this is for Buckeye malt syrup and this was made to apply labels to them but you could have put any type of tape in there. It's basically a normal tape dispenser that has the added on label from the company that used it. Almost 150 bucks for this piece here. This is one of those areas a lot of people don't mess with. Most people would not assume that a sale at an office or an office building closing or a liquidation sale at an office company or anything like that would carry some money. But there's many office-related items that religiously sell for us constantly, always, no matter how many of them we can get, they do sell. And this is a perfect example of those sorts of things. Now, there are some decorator-style pieces as well. This is a fancy, modernistic brass tape dispenser. It's adjustable so you can add different styles or sizes of rolls in it from the way it looks. This is from the 80s. Solid brass, fairly heavy, almost a hundred bucks for this. If you didn't know this was a tape dispenser from a distance, you may not even know what this was. It's another one of those reasons why some of these items do get missed. They just don't look like anything or the condition. Many times people will pass on items that are in terrible condition or just don't look like much. Everyday items are usually one of the first things that are missed because people just assume a stapler, a tape dispenser won't carry any type of value. Now here's an example of an everyday type of tape dispenser. This was mass produced in major quantity. It's a Scotch whale tape tape dispenser. Original, it's cast iron. It's very heavy. Almost $100 plus shipping as well on this. These are the sorts of items that'll be dark, dirty, dingy, or that'll show up in the back of some old junky warehouse or an office that's been open for years and years and years and they're going out of business. Here's another example. This is a business one, industrial standard. Now these are similar to the types of tape dispensers we use to wrap up things. This is just a vintage version from the 1930s. It's made by 3M. It's marked from Minnesota Mining Company. It's got their label on the side. Those are kind of like an anti-theft feature. So if somebody took it, you'd be able to see who actually had it. Most of the time they're marked with decals like this one here, almost a hundred bucks. Now even common mass produced tape dispensers if they're vintage and in the box, they will sell for some decent money like this one here. Almost 50 bucks for this one in the box. This is an everyday common tape dispenser that you could have bought 60, 70 years ago. Still in the box. It's NOS for sure. It still will sell as you can see. Now here's a Christmas related set of tape dispensers made to be purchased to wrap your gifts with. Multicolored foil tape on these. Standardized tape dispensers in here. It's by Scotch, probably 50 ish maybe in the 60s 100 bucks for this now decorative ones are some of the most expensive ones the ones that sell routinely for good money this is a fine example from the nightmare before christmas tim burton's movie here it's the snake that ate the christmas presents 50 bucks for these i've seen these broken go 30 to 50 bucks as well just depends on how you price them you price them higher they will sell for more now here's a very unique one from star wars very limited production this is one of those oddball licenses that Lucasfilms let out. Now this is new old stock. This is by Sigma. Very scarce contract through Lucasfilms. This one went for over a thousand bucks. Now this is one of those super scarce ones. This is in Tomart's price guide. I do have that book as well. This is probably one of the scarcest office supply items you will find for a character like this. Fine example though of a figural one without a doubt. Now here's an interesting one. This is a tape
grape dispenser and a stapler set together. You've got Sylvester and Daffy Duck, Warner Brothers characters, 100 bucks for these. Now, I've seen these go for 100 bucks on their own. If they have the box, even more than that. People who want to decorate their office and are interested in the characters, this is a perfect example of some way to do that. Now, character-wise, most of the studios have some sort of stapler or tape dispenser, just like this stapler here by Disney. Disney has a whole line of these. There's a Mickey Mouse exclusive set. There's comic book-related ones as well. So just be on the lookout for these. They are out there. You may not realize the value on some of those. Many of these would be found unused as well, just because it was a gift, and many people would just use a regular stapler. Now, of course, just like the tape dispensers, standardized staplers, everyday staplers from the 20s, 30s, 40s, even before that can go for some phenomenal money. 195 bucks for this old stapler here. This one shoots the little points into the window frames, and then you could glaze them back in the 20s, 30s, or even before that. This is a specialized one. A lot of the specialized ones will almost always go for some good money because they're scarce. They don't show up very often. Many people who repair and fix vintage windows and things do like to have vintage tools while they're doing it. So another good example of why this is of interest to many different people. Now here's one of the most prized staplers. It doesn't go for a fortune, but most any person who likes old office supplies or anything like that will know this piece here and will want it. These are highly sought after by a ton of different people. This one went for close to 150 bucks. This is an NCR Hotchkiss number one. Now there's model two, three, four, five, the whole works. People describe the edge there as the tail as well. Really interesting. Many times you will see where it's broken or damaged and that tail part is not there. These will almost always sell for 100 bucks or better. Now here is model number two, 1896 on this one here. These go back quite a ways, as you can see. Many of these are brass. There's some bronze ones. You can find them in cast iron. They were made to last back then. 145 bucks for this one here. Now here's a Markwell specialty stapler as well. This one does staples and it will do the glazing points like the one we showed you just a few moments ago. Any of these sorts do extremely well. You may not even realize what this is if you found it thrown in a garage or in a box or something. Even in not so great condition, they still will sell. These are the type of items that I do clean up fairly decently. I don't remove any finish, but I do clean off all the oil and anything else that's stuck to one of these. It will increase the value without a doubt. Advertising ones do extremely well also. This is from Pan Am. This one is sat at a check-in counter or something like that in an airport. This one's from the 70s or so. Excellent condition, $87. It had 28 bids, if that tells you how collectible some of these are. Airline collectors, Pan Am collectors, staple collectors, office collectors, and on and on. There's a lot of people who wanted this sort of item here. Now, there's some interesting designer ones as well. Modernistic, I guess you would say, mid-mod century pieces like this one here. This is a therapist, a psychiatrist. The couch is there. You can see him with his tablet asking the questions. It's by Ted Arnold Limited, a known company who has done many other pieces like this as well. 85 bucks. Now, the price you get out of these is just like any other thing. It depends on what you put on it. If you put 150 bucks on some of these items, they may have sold for 150 bucks. You only put 85 bucks on something it may only sell for 85 bucks. And one last one here, the Primo most sought after stapler out there on the market is this one here. This is a Streamline Zephyr. It's a Hotchkiss as well. Same company, been around for quite some time. This one's from the 30s. This one always sells for hundreds of dollars, even in not so great condition. This is another one of those that I would probably clean up to the best of my ability. As long as I'm not removing any of the finish, it will sell better. The shinier, the brighter, the better condition it is. This is just a fine example, 315 bucks with eight bids. Every one of these I've ever seen has sold for at least a few hundred dollars across the board. These again were something that was in an everyday office at one point. It's a national brand. They sold them all over the world. There were tons of these made. Nowadays people have discarded all the old office supplies. Many people assume office supplies carry no real value, especially a stapler like this. So when they do show up and they're in good condition, they go for some good money. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that'll give you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
peanut butter cups. Real milk chocolate, delicious peanut butter. Two great tastes that taste great together. Mm, Reese? Yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups.